The lightning spell deals units and buildings. Deals. What? The lightning spell damages units and buildings in a small area. Ha ha. That was a fail, you guys. Sorry about that. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Matt, here with another episode to Road to Max Town Hall Level 8, Episode 4. And I have a couple raids to show you guys, even though I said I wasn't going to do some of them. But I'm sorry, I will mix it up in the next episode. You will see, I promise you that. But I still do have great raids, like always. And I kind of mixed it up, but. I still used like the BAM strategy, sorry. But with this strategy, it is a whole bunch of giants followed by some barbarians, archers, and some rage spells. Now, have you seen this attack before? It was most likely by Killalog for the win, and he is absolutely amazing with this strategy. The reason I'm using it is because of him. And the way he taught it. So, usually he would do it with level 6 giants. But I'm only Town Hall level 8. So I do not have that. And I do not want to use this on my other account. So I would just show you guys that it still works with level 5 troops. As long as you have some level 4 rage or level 5 rage. Then you guys should be good to go. So, dropping some infantry on the bottom to take out those pumps and mines now there's a whole like debate whether why they called pumps usually I won't say pumps but you know I got used to it from Chief Pat if you don't if you didn't check him out he has another he has a channel also called play clash of clans if you didn't check him out he should also they both should be also on the right side of my homepage channel because I do have them as featured channels. So if you guys want to check them out, they're in the featured channels and I will put both of their names of the channels in the description below. So subscribe to them if you haven't, which I'm pretty sure most of you heard of them already. And that wraps up that raid. And I actually was talking to Killalog on Twitter. He was the only one that <laughs> tweeted me back. I tried to hit up uh, Godson and J-Rod and Chief Pat and uh, Mystic7. But none of them replied except for Killalog. So I really am grateful for that. And... Now we're on the next raid. I pull out the Barb King, take him out with some minions. Don't really use that much barbarians and archers because my minions will take him out, no problem. So, just taking out these buildings, and while they're doing that, I'm going to talk to you guys about my new series that I'm going to be bringing you guys. It's not, I don't know how to say this. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is until the next episode that I post today which is going to be the Road to Max Town Hall Level 9 Episode 4 and I'll talk a little bit more about that then but for now I'm just going to let you guys know that it's all about helping people so you can probably think about it have an idea of what it might be and I also am going to start reading the little hints on the loading screen because it does take a little bit long to load up and I don't want you guys sitting there bored for like 5 to 10 seconds. So I'm going to read you guys the hints with a little enthusiast, enthusiasm. Maybe make it funny. I don't know. I'll just maybe give you my opinion and then when it loads up then I'll just start as usual. And right there he just had three air bombs destroy one minion. And that's horrible. 
Uh, so if you guys want to use the air bombs and seeking mines, spread them out. That way they don't do what just happened to me. So that way you don't have to waste more money. Spread them out. It's always good to have things spread out in your base. Not too much, but not too close. So I have another BAM strategy, but I'm going to use the healer. Giant healer strategy first, just to really show you guys, I do not like this strategy, and I will probably never use it again. I probably do. I'll probably do a like tip trick about it, maybe. I don't know, depending how I feel, and depending if you guys want to see that. But I really do not like this strategy, and here comes the reason why. Send in my giants, and as soon as they take out that air defense, I will send in my healer. And the air defense is down, so I do drop both my healers. I drop a rage spell just so they can move quicker, and they split up like usual. Instead of one healer going right, one healer going left, they both go left, and they're going to just be, get dragged closer to the air defense on the top, and that's really annoying. I guess when I use it, I can wait till they split up and then drop one healer on each pack. But giants should just stay together. I don't understand why they split up. <coughs> Ooh, sorry about that. Bless me. But, and if they, the Giants do split up, the Archer, no, uh, not the Archers, the Healers should be smart enough to split up with the Giants, not just them alone. So, I would rather just use the strategy Killer Low uses and replace those Healers with some Infantry. So, I drop some at the top and they take out that tesla and the army camps and lab so oh another thing is this guy put all his stuff in like one compartment that's not the best if you follow the people that made clash of clans well if you follow the clash of clans page on facebook or twitter there was a picture that they tell you that one big compartment is an x and set four compartments or more is a check for people that did not know that, that's how it is. It's never good to throw all your stuff in the middle. Because people like me would just run through your base with rage spells and you know, spamming troops all over the place. So, I have one more raid for you guys. And it will be the last raid of the day. I'm going to get into a live raid next, next episode. Because I know you guys like it. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm getting into a live raid right now. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. I guess I didn't show the BAM strategy. And I just want to show you this. Alright, so I'm going to be skipping. So while I'm skipping, let's just talk a little bit about how I'm doing in these videos. So I still don't have a lot of views and subscribers i'm gonna try to text the famous well the other youtubers that play clash of clans and see if they can help me out with a shout out i know mystic seven did a shout out and i was really hoping to be in there because i sent them my link but i guess he didn't put me in sadly i was really disappointed but he is another YouTuber that I really like, and I'll also put his his name in the description below, so you guys can find him. But if you don't type it right, you won't find him, and I'll put exactly what to type when I put it in the description below. So, take out the guy's Barb King, and I'm using the Barbarian Archer Rush, and this was actually... The first strategy that people came up with in the beginning of the game when only archers and barbs were out. They would just spam a whole bunch of barbs and a whole bunch of barb whole bunch of barbs and then a whole bunch of archers followed them up. And then yeah, and then they grew from there with raw breakers and giants and etc. Barb King. Archer Queen. So I drop a rage spell just to help my king get in that middle. And dropping some more troops, hopefully hoping they will go on the inside. And they are dropping some more 
I'm just spamming a whole bunch of my troops in because there's no splash damage in the radius of my troops. And that's really a big factor in the game. You always want to have your splash damage defenses up. And if you are going to upgrade them, upgrade them one at a time, like one mortar, one wizard tower. Don't upgrade them all at the same time. I do that, but it's just because I don't want one to be done and then I have to get money for the other one. And nah, it's just too complicated. I'd rather have all of them at once and then get all of them at the same time. That way it's not one's down and then that's done and the other one's down. I'd rather just have them all done at the same time. That way, I could be ready. I know I'm going to lose a whole bunch of trophies and loot when they're down, but I'm not worried about it. So, end the raid there. You get about almost, well, 200k resources. Most of it was gold, which I am okay with. I really need to start working on my elixir count because I only have a little bit left because I did upgrade the... Uh, dragon as you can see but that's the end of the video like and subscribe and i'll got i'll see you guys on the next episode